Dear students, now we are going to discuss Nathan's theorem and solve one important problem in this lecture video. This Nathan's theorem is mainly used to simplify the linear complex circuit with more than one source. So it is mainly used to simplify the linear complex network. So here it is only applicable for linear circuit not for non-linear circuit. Okay, so here the statement of Nathan's theorem, any linear active network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit which is consisting of a single current source in parallel with an equivalent resistance. So here any linear complex network can be replaced with the Nathan's equivalent circuit. So the Nathan's equivalent circuit is nothing but the current source in parallel with the equivalent resistance. Do you all understand this concept? So any complex network can be simplified using this Nathan's equivalent circuit. So we need to find out this Nathan's current and then the Nathan's equivalent resistance by using network analysis methods like the nodal analysis, current division rule, voltage division rule. Okay, so this is Nathan's theorem. So here, what is mean by Nathan's current? That is IN. So it is also called as short circuit current. Short circuit current in the sense, here the low terminal is short circuited and then measure the current flowing through that path. Okay, so that's why it is called as short circuit current. Do you all understand this one? So next, Nathan's equivalent resistance that is Rn. Okay, so here we are going to remove the load resistor and inactivate all the sources. For example, short circuit the voltage source, open circuit the current source present in the circuit and then measure the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So it is equivalent to the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, so we need to find out the Nathan's current that is short circuit current and then equivalent resistance of the circuit. And finally, we can draw this Nathan's equivalent circuit. So here we can consider this example. This circuit is complex one with voltage source, current source and more number of resistance values. Correct? So this can be simplified using this Nathan circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit for this complex network. Do you all understand this concept? Next we are going to discuss the steps used in Nathan's theorem. The first step is to short the branch through which the current is to be calculated. So here the first step is what? To short circuit the branch for which we are going to calculate the current. Then we have to calculate the current through that short circuited branch using any of the network analysis methods. So this current is known as Nathan's current or short circuited current. So simply we can represent ISC. So here we can use any of the network analysis methods like nodal analysis, mesh analysis, uh, current division rule. Okay, so kind of network analysis methods we can use to get the current. Okay, so after getting this short circuited current, we are going to calculate the equivalent resistance. Okay, that is also known as Nathan's resistance. Okay, so for that we have to remove the load resistor. Okay, that is the particular branch and short circuit the voltage source, open circuit the current source and then we can find out the equivalent resistance of the circuit okay so and finally we are going to draw the Nathan's equivalent circuit with the calculated short circuited current and then equivalent resistance so finally we can have the load resistor we can calculate the current flowing through this load resistor as IN that is using current division rule IN is the total current multiplied with the opposite resistance for this RL that is RN divided by RN plus RL. So this is the current 
division method okay and from this we can find out the voltage drop across this load resistor by using the ohms law il into rl do you all understand we can find out both load current and load voltage okay using this nathan's theorem next advantages of nathan's theorem it is mainly used to simplify the linear complex circuit and also to find out the current through any branch of the complex network okay and the limitation as we discussed it is only applicable for linear circuit so it is not applicable for non linear circuit let's solve one problem using nathan's theorem using nathan's theorem find the current through 6 ohm resistance in the given circuit so this is the given circuit with voltage source 20 volt we are going to find out the current through this 6 ohm resistor okay we can consider this is the load resistor so for this load resistor we are going to find out the current il using nathan's theorem so here what is nathan's theorem nathan's theorem is nothing but the current source in parallel with one equivalent resistance and then we can have the load resistance okay so here we are going to find out this nathan's current that is short circuited current and then the equivalent resistance for this circuit okay so here we are going to use nathan's theorem so what is the first step the first step is to find out the short circuited current for the branch 6 ohm so here what is the condition to find out the short circuited current to short circuit this low resistor so we are going to remove this low resistor 6 ohm and we are going to simply short circuit this one so that is the first step so here in this first step we are going to remove the 6 ohm and then we can short circuit that branch here the given circuit can be drawn like this 20 volt with 5 ohm and then 10 ohm with short circuited branch so here the current is i which is flowing from this 20 volt to this 5 ohm at this point here we can have 10 ohm branch and one short circuited branch as we all know that the current is flowing through this short circuited branch then there is no current is flowing through this 10 ohm so it prefers to flow to this short circuited line because it prefers to flow through low resistance path okay so for the short circuit the resistance is low when compared with this 10 ohm there is no current flow at this point do you all understand this so there is no current at this point the current from this voltage is directly given to the short circuited path so here we can directly use that ohms law in is equal to v by r so v is 20 r is 5 ohm so we do not consider this 10 ohm so 20 by 5 the answer is 4 ampere is flowing through this short circuited path so the next step we are going to find out the equivalent resistance rn okay so for that we have to remove the load resistance that is 6 ohm in the given circuit and short circuit the voltage source so here we can simply short circuit the voltage source then we can find out the equivalent resistance so here both the ends of the resistor are connected together that means both the resistors are in parallel correct so here we can use the equivalent resistance is equal to 5 parallel with 10 ohm so here 5 into 10 by 5 plus 10 then the nathan's equivalent resistance is equal to 3.33 ohm do you all understand this one and finally we have to draw the nathan's equivalent circuit for the given diagram so here we can draw the nathan's equivalent circuit one current source in parallel with equivalent resistance what is the current value 4 ampere the equivalent resistance value is 3.33 ohm and then the load resistor 6 ohm so we are going to find out the current through this 6 ohm that is the load current so here we can have 
two resistors in parallel. So the current 4 ampere is flowing through the circuit. At this point, it is getting divided between these two branches. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to find out this load current. For that, we can use this current division rule. What is the current division rule? We can consider the total current multiplied with, so Rn divided by Rn plus Rl. So we can simply substitute all those values here. IL is equal to total current is 4. This opposite resistance is 3.33 divided by the sum of these two resistance values. So we can get 13.32 by 9.33. The answer is 1.43 ampere. So this is the final answer.